Welcome back everyone, Patrick here. Moving on to another question dealing with quadratic relations. So we have to use finite differences to figure out whether each of these relations here, so notice there are a table of values, whether they are linear, quadratic, or neither. And so what we mean by finite differences is we wanna start taking the differences between the y values and then seeing whether the first or second differences are constant. Your teacher probably went through this and you're probably gonna get questions relating to this in your textbook or in your homework. So if the first differences are constant, then we know that relation that we're dealing with is gonna be linear. If the second differences are constant, it's gonna be quadratic. And if neither of those, if the first or second differences are not constant, then it's gonna be neither linear or quadratic. Uh, a relation. So let's start off with uh, part A with this first table over here. Now what you want to do, two things I want to mention. When you're taking the differences between the y values, what you want to do is you want to take the bottom y value and subtract the top y value. So you would do 8 minus 6, which would give you positive 2. Then you do 10 minus 8 which would give you positive two. Another thing I wanna mention is that when you're taking these differences between the y values, you gotta make sure that the x values have the same differences in between them. So notice that these are constants, one, two, three, four, five. All of these have a difference of one between them. But notice in this table, we got four, six, eight, nine, and 10. So these are going up by twos, but then these are going up by ones. And so, what we're gonna to have to do here, and we'll get to that in a sec, but just wanna mention it so we can relate it here, is we'd have to take the difference between these two y values, these two y values, and then these two y values, right? We would skip the nine because we'd be looking at the x values that have a constant difference between them, two, two, and then two, like that, okay? So over here, we don't have to worry about that because it's just one, two, three, four, five. Right, so all of these are constants, so we could just take the difference between all of these y values. So notice 12 minus 10, that's two. 14 minus 12, that is two. Notice that the first differences are constant. And so what that means is that this relation here, it is linear. So now moving on to part B. Again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the difference between these two these two, and then these two over here, right? Because we're going up by twos, twos, so then eight and 10, we got to take the difference between those two y values. We would skip the uh, nine and negative 36. So we would do, uh, for these two, we would do the bottom minus the top, right? Negative six minus four would give us negative 10. And then over here, notice we got two negatives. So let's just do it on the side, just so we're not getting confused. Negative 24 minus negative six, which would be like negative 24 plus six, which would give us negative 18. And then we do negative 50 minus negative 24, which is like negative 50 plus 24, which would give us negative 26. So notice the first differences are not constant. So let's see what happens with the second differences. So the second differences, we would do the same thing as just now we would take the differences between these and we still do the bottom minus the top. So we'd have negative 18 minus negative 10, which would be like negative 18 plus 10, which would give us negative eight. So this here would be negative eight. And then we'd have negative six or negative 26 rather minus negative 18, which would be negative 26 plus 18, which would give us negative eight. So this here would be negative eight. Notice that these second differences are constant. And so if the second differences are constant, then we know we are dealing with a quadratic. And then the final table, part C over here. So notice that the X values are going up by the same amount. So we can start off by taking the differences between these y values. So we do three minus one, which would give us uh, two, eight minus three, which would give us five, and then 17 minus eight, which would give us nine. So the first differences are not constant. Then let's see what the second differences are. Five minus two is three, nine minus five is 
four. So notice these second differences are not constant either. So it's not a line, it's not a quadratic, it is neither of those. All right, so if you get a question like this, uh, a couple of things to remember, make sure the x values are going up by the same amount for whichever y values you're starting to take the differences of, and then always do the bottom minus the top.